Welcome to Cam Look, your bi-weekly bit of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each Tuesday and Thursday, a staff member or volunteer will present a work from our museum's permanent collection and post questions for discussion. Please check back on those days at 10 a.m. for a new work and a new conversation. Hi, I'm Susan at Dosen at the Museum, and today I'd like to present a painting by the educator and muralist John Biggers. Murals are hard to move. Ours is an oil on canvas titled The Gleaners. A gleaner is a person who gathers the remnants of a harvest, traditionally grain. It's a practice as old as the Bible, described in the books of Leviticus and Deuteronomy. It was a legally enforced entitlement of the poor in many parts of Europe, continuing in some countries to this day. Modern gleaners are usually humanitarian organizations that collect and distribute surplus food. Surprisingly to me, it was a somewhat popular subject of art, especially in the 19th century. The sculptor Randolph Rogers made over 30 copies of Ruth, a character from the Bible gleaning, including this one from the Met. Paintings in various styles abound. The beautiful portraits, lovely landscapes, and romanticized pictures of peasant life weren't exactly what John Biggers was after. He took his inspiration from Jean Francis Millet's painting, The Gleaners. Also beautiful, that painting caused an uproar at the Paris Salon of 1857. Its realistic style and scale, it was big, was seen as glorifying the lower classes and socialism. The reminder that French society depended on the working masses made people uncomfortable. Lingering memories of the French Revolution, perhaps? Biggers Gleaners are a group of black women collecting scraps of coal, not peasants, but still poor, as the small ramshackle buildings indicate. The women seem cut off from the prosperity implied by the factory in the upper right corner and the city skyline in the upper left. There is literally a chasm between the tracks and the town. Only a narrow path connects them. The same narrow path that perhaps Biggers felt he and others were on? Notice you don't see where the path leads. I'm going to be optimistic and take that to represent hope. There are some imposing hills in the way, however. Born into a segregated community in North Carolina, he learned about art and to value his African heritage from instructors at Lincoln Academy, an African-American boarding school. Upon entering Hampton Institute, now Hampton University, a historically black college, he intended to study plumbing. Fortunately for us, he switched to art. He would go on to earn a PhD from the Pennsylvania State University and was the founder of Texas State, now Texas Southern's art department. His early works like ours were openly critical of racial and economic injustice. He also championed the often overlooked efforts and accomplishments of African Americans. A trip to Africa inspired works exploring the idea of what was intrinsically African. Later works were increasingly symbolic and abstract, but remained grounded in African heritage and black culture. I enjoyed learning about this artist and his reinterpretation of a classical work. Can you think of another artist, African American, who does something similar? If you missed his work on the way in, please be sure to catch it on the way out. Just look for the two eight feet tall women off to the side of the front desk.